in Baltimore. I'm going to start getting ready because we have our friend's wedding tonight. Um, definitely it's October. It's the beginning of October so it's a very um, perfect fall wedding especially because Baltimore's weather has been so so nice. So I haven't done this in a while. This is not of course this is not going to be my everyday makeup routine. It's just a little bit more of a glam makeup that I do especially when I do go to weddings. So yeah let's start. Always 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 this is like I think pet peeve that I have is I clean my face with toner every single time before I put makeup on um, before I go to bed it's just like I think I'm addicted to toner I I can't show you the one I have because I put a little bit into my travel thingy um, but I use I post a picture I think that's easier we're to Maryland and we're staying in this part that is called the inner harbor um, I'm sorry if any locals are here and I mess up something again this is my first time here so I'm just sharing what I've seen so anyway, we're staying at the Inner Harbor or Waterfront area, and it's so, so cute. I really love this place. Like we walked around, we went to the aquarium, we saw like some of the apartments that they have literally on the water with the docks, and it's just so, so cute. But I grew up in Mexico City. I'm originally from Mexico, and so we don't usually do a lot of weddings in the US. Um, most of our friends that are getting married are in Mexico. So this is one of the few weddings We've actually been here in the U.S. and it's so nice. I mean, of course, very similar traditions and everything like that. But yesterday we had the rehearsal dinner. My husband's in the wedding, so that's why he's not gonna make any appearances right now. Um, so we in Mexico, you don't usually have a rehearsal dinner. You might not have like a get together or any something like that. But you actually don't even have rehearsals. So, well, not usually. Anyway, it's really nice. I feel like it was a nice way to see some of the guests and interact without the whole pressure of the wedding so i definitely do like that so i'm not big on foundation for everyday life i am going to use foundation right now because it's like like i say glam so these are my basics i use the capture youth plump filler from dior and then i use the capture total face cream and the capture just all dream skin so this is basically like the three combo deal I, anyway i always this is what i use every single day um if i'm wearing foundation it kind of works like a like a good primer um if i'm not wearing foundation same thing <laughs> and i had to do that intro because i i didn't bring a robe or anything like that so i stole one of Arturo's shirts and i just and then i'm where i also forgot socks to wear boots so I'm wearing some of the socks so I just had to do that intro this is currently my favorite foundation or the one I'm using right now it's Dior backstage it's actually for face and body um, it is a lot lighter than some of the other Dior foundations I've, I've tried a couple I can't remember the names and I'm not a fan so this one I actually do like and it tends to last pretty long so and then this brush I am obsessed and I wish they made it and I'm not sure why it's pink but I wish they made it in more sizes it's a buffing brush from Dior, Dior, it's the actual Dior Backstage brush, and it is amazing. Concealer or corrector, I use this one. This is the Lancome Ultra Wear in Peach, literally Peach. Um, Quick tip about concealer is I used to think that the if you wanted to cover dark circles, which I have a lot of, um, you had to go brighter and whiter and it just had to be really, really white. And actually, no, your concealer, but I definitely do recommend this one. It's amazing. It's really rich, so it lasts a really long time and you only need, yeah, teeny tiny. Now I do do a, basically a concealer brightener. So this actually, this is a lighter color. This will brighten up. Okay, so wait, hold on. The corrector corrects the color and this actually conceals. So this brightens up and conceals. So. Okay, um, contour. I'm not huge in contour because I'm always scared of having like like dark spots all over my face or like stripes or whatever. So I actually use this one. Excuse, super dirty. 
Um, this is a Hoola. It's actually supposed to be a bronzer. It's pretty dark for me, so I actually use it as more of a contour, like very light contouring. Um, like not light, just more of a natural contouring. Powder. At home, I actually have the big Universal Chanel Universal powder, which is like a like a tub, of, like this one. Um, it is a pain to travel with because it takes up so much space. So if I'm traveling, I just bring the compact powder from them and try to use it the same way I would. So I would use it with a brush just to kind of like even everything out. Definitely, this is a crazy wedding month for us. We well, not crazy month. I actually we didn't have any weddings spring summer this year none whatsoever or maybe we just weren't invited i don't know um <laughs> but we have two right now so this one up here in maryland then two weeks from now we have another one in connecticut and then november we have another one from my high school friends in mexico so it's just like i'm like nobody nobody wanted to get married during spring this time so these are some of my favorite bronzers i'm showing two because one of them is like an even color and then this one is has a little bit of a lighter tone, which is actually the one I use more of a, as a blush. So this I'm just gonna use, give me a little bit of color. I was struggling a little bit with the dress. So I got a dress for this wedding and then I didn't really have much for the next two ones. I did buy an amazing dress that I ended up taking to the T3 retreat that I was about to return because I, I wasn't sure about it, but then I tried it on. We actually took some amazing photos with it. So I have that option and then I need to see what I would wear for the third wedding or I wear that one to the third wedding and then, I don't know. Hmm. I, I wanna wait, I do highlighter, but I'm gonna wait to do that, sorry, um, until after I'm done. Cause I always, again, because of my dark circles, I always do a little bit more powder once I'm done. Anyway, so I actually, this is my first Huda, Huda, Huda beauty <laughs> product. Um, I had seen them around, I've heard really good things. And then of course, while I was waiting to check out at Sephora, that little line where everything just sticks to you, um, I found this one. So these are some of my favorite um, eyeshadow colors. And they're perfect for fall, so I decided to pick them up. They're a lot, they have more um, sparkly tones that I like, so I'm gonna try them today. I actually wore it yesterday for the rehearsal dinner. I just tried to stick to lighter tones and... Okay, husband message. Um, he's updating me on everything because he has like the actual schedule because he's a groomsman. And he's in the inner circle and he knows what's going on, so. do a little smokiness around my eyes. So I'm gonna do, I don't wanna go too dark. So this one with a little bit of shine right there. So this is where I do it. I do it right here, very close to the lash line. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I do same colors for the bottom. Okay, so something like this. 
same colors for the other eye, of course. Always remember, this is a tip I learned, that if you want it to look dark on your eyes, even though, like me, I have dark eyes, usually these colors, like this might not look as dark in the palette, but on your skin, it would look darker. So don't try to go, just because you want a dark look, don't go with the darkest color in your palette. So I actually, yeah, I went with this one, so it actually looks like more of a cinnamon color, and mixed it with that. Eyeliner. Um, I've talked about this on my Instagram. I actually currently have lash extensions, which I don't usually do, but because of all these weddings and events and I have the T3 retreat, which I was gonna talk about that I kinda like forgot. Anyway, um, so I love mascara and I love eyeliner, um, so I'm not doing as much with the eyelashes because I don't want to mess them up and I want them to last and whatnot. Um, but since it is an event, I am going to do very, very delicate. I have to do this with the mirror because I can't do it. <laughs> um, a very, very delicate line um, just with the eyeliner. This is the one I'm using right now. This is the Dior, Dior Show on stage liner. Super, super fine. And it is liquid, it's like a pen, so it's not non-oil base, it's it's water, not waterproof, but it's smudge, yeah, that one, smudge free. Um, yeah, really good, so. If you want a more accessible and cheaper brand, I do recommend the L'Oreal Super Slim. I'll link it below under this one. It's amazing, I use it for years and years and years. The tip kind of gets a little bit smudgy after, after a little bit, but it is amazing for the price, like honestly, and you can find it anywhere. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. I literally just went almost over my lash line. Um, since I can't wear my mascara, well, I'm gonna add a little bit because I got some makeup on this lash. Um, so I usually use my mascara all the way from the inner of my lid, so that gives me like a thicker appearance of a thicker lash line. Um, I can't do that right now because I'm not supposed to, you're not supposed to use a lot of mascara when you're using, when you have lash extensions, and especially if you are going to use it, you need to use it on the tips, not where the, I guess, they're glued on. So that's why I'm doing this because I can't use mascara, so. Highlighter. Also because of space. This actually I am loving. Um, I bought it in New York because I forgot my highlighter and I don't know if you noticed this but most highlighters come in like huge palettes and I just didn't want to have to like buy another big palette which I have at home. So I found this one from Benefit. This is a tickle, tickle um, color. It's a little bit between a highlighter and a blush. Um, they have one in, I think the color is called Cookie. brows so this is a question I actually get a lot uh, these are my natural brows they are pretty defined I think that's the word but still even though they're defined I always like to just fill them in a little bit but I, I just do a little bit and then tip on brows doesn't matter how thick or thin you your brows are always do small little strokes so basically Chanel's waterproof <laughs> Um, brow pencil and it comes with a little brush in the end. Um, and because my brows are a little bit long, um, always brow gel. This is the one I use, Anastasia. Basic brow gel. There's nothing. They only have one, I think. Um, sometimes I only, I don't fill them in. I just use the brow gel, like, Sun. Like days that I don't wear makeup, I just do brow gel and it's a huge help. Especially if you're like me, I don't know if you can tell. Like, they're super long and this is already, they, they, <laughs> they've cut them down and waxed and whatever. The girl that does my brows is super good. Teeny tiny, I hope the girl that does my lashes doesn't see this. I'm gonna do a teeny tiny of mascara because they're like, I got concealer on this one and I haven't, I haven't been able to take it off. Um, currently loving this one, well before I got my lashes, the Urban Decay Perversion, not waterproof. I hate, hate, hate waterproof mascaras. Doesn't matter what brand it is, I just do not like them. Um, never wear them. I feel they kill my lashes. I don't know. Um, so I'm just 
gonna do a teeny tiny. And then I'm using this one. I, ha I brought two, but this one is like very almost empty. So this is the one I'm using. So I'm, I actually don't apply that much product to my lashes. It's also a good tip if you're going for a very, very natural look to get one of the, not dried, but when it's almost empty because you don't apply that much product. I'm done. I'm gonna do my lipstick after I do my hair. So we're gonna start with the hair. I'm gonna go get my stuff and okay. Give me micro convertible curler. This is the one and a quarter inch barrel clip barrel. My favorite go-to. But the good thing about the convertible collection is that you can take it apart and actually pack two barrels instead of having to pack two curlers. Um, so anyway, the only thing I have noticed is that my waves don't don't last that long. It might be the keratin treatment, but I did do the keratin treatment before I cut it and still my waves like would last. Now I go to bed and I wake up and it's like, um, like nothing, but it's fine because like one day I'll wear it wavy and the next day I'll just wear it like this, like the way I have it. Um, so I'm just gonna do some quick waves. I changed my part because I wanna try and lift one side so I can wear big earrings. These are the earrings I'm wearing. This is from AC Jewelry. Um, they are in Texas, all handmade. They're beautiful, look at this one. This is a natural stone, um, gold plated and everything. So, decided to finally wear this dress. It's the Alice and Olivia butterfly dress. I tried it on in New York during fashion week and I thought about it, thought about it and ended up ordering it. So, so yeah, what do you think? is a Maybelline Hot Chocolate 560. I am using this, the Lip Injection Ex Yeah, okay, so this is the makeup. I'm gonna go get dressed ready. Ta-da, final look. This is the dress. Um, I am actually wearing same shoes I wore for the rehearsal dinner, excuse my mess there, and same purse. So this is a good tip. Um, pack accessories you can wear more than once so you don't have to overpack accessories. Really simple um, bracelet and yeah. And I moved the part a little bit because it wasn't staying and just added some texture spray. So hopefully that works. Add a video, full video.